the first thing that I want to dive into with you guys is the battery pack and why we're using it. So this is a 2018 Chevy Volt battery pack. Um, I chose this because it has uh, 355 volts, which is pretty good. Also, the uh, cell count works well with the electric motor that we're going to use that we'll talk about later. Um, it also is a good pack because it has liquid cooling. So from the factory, there's already like divided cells and there's water passages that actually go through the battery. And that's really, really cool because some of the other battery options out there, you have to actually get creative with and kind of design your own um, jacketing and you know try to make something work that wasn't um, standard fit. So what I ended up doing, I just went on like LKQ's website and we have an account. So I just purchased a full pack. Um, I decided to do that instead of buying like individual batteries because it comes with some parts that I might decide to use later. Um, some of like the um, large, we'll call them relays for now. So the large relays that are gonna switch on and off the high voltage. Um, it actually comes on with it and it also has some bulkhead connectors that are kind of cool. Um, the price was really high to be honest. Uh, a lot of people are using these batteries for like big grid wall, power wall setups like in their home and stuff like that. Something that I'd really um, love to try to tackle one day for my own house to have um, an off, you know, like my own charging wall so I can uh, be, kind of be off the grid a little bit or at least harvest my own battery to be able to charge my car. Uh, but let's talk about that later. So basically I, I chose this battery because really because the liquid cooling and um, They're very modular packs. It looks like a huge thing right now. Just a giant T Looks like it's impossible to put anywhere in a in a car even an s2000 for that matter But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna split up the packs and I'm going to try to make it a little bit more manageable for me to be able to deal with and I'll explain some of the things um, that this battery pack has and what it offers us. So let me uh, get into it with you guys So I already took the cover off the battery, but as you guys could see this is what it looked like from the factory This is just the cover The batteries are actually over there on the cart But um, if you look right here, you can see it's just a giant t-shape and There's just different sections for the batteries to live in. So there's like basically three big sections this is an emergency cutoff section right there. So during servicing, what they would do is actually you disconnect it if you were servicing the battery and it would isolate this battery pack from these two. Uh, basically, so if you did get shocked, it would be half the voltage and you probably wouldn't die per se, but you would still probably get pretty injured, but they wanted to eliminate people just getting zapped. So this would be um, the front area where the bulkhead's gonna sit. So I'll show you guys on my already opened pack. As you can see here, we have um, some high voltage for different things. Like there's like a water pump in there that actually, um, it, it's actually a heater. So sorry, it's a water heater. So that's one of these. And then there's a few other things. This is all high voltage lines. Um, down here, you're, you see this is actually a water in and a water out. And then a couple bulkhead connectors right here for like the battery management and ignition switch power and stuff like that that'll turn on some some relays that are actually living inside of this giant box. So this is basically just like a fuse box for the high voltage system. And we'll tear that apart. On top, there's battery positive and battery negative. And this is where the um, power of the negative and the positive is going to be actually coming out. So um, what I'm going to do is I am going to disconnect some of these water lines, disconnect some of these brackets along the bottom here so this battery pack can actually come out and be a separate piece from this one and then separate piece from these. So I'm just going to try to like get them all separated out and if you have a closer look, you can kind of see what's going on here. So there's orange wire cabling. This is all for BMS, which is battery management system stuff. So it's going to manage the battery and it's going to monitor all the cells, thermocouple for temperatures and everything. So this is, this is the brain. This is the battery management. I am most likely not going to be using this BMS. 
Um, I'm going to use a different brand that I feel is going to be a better choice for our build. Um, but if you could see, there's some there's some data on the batteries. It's pretty cool. It'll say like 2.3 kilowatt right there, 5.4 kilowatt, 3.1 kilowatt, and so on. And if you add everything up, um, the voltage on these batteries will add up to um, 355, I think it is. Uh, but we should see a little bit more than that when fully charged. Right now, actually, unfortunately, this battery right here is low on voltage. I ohmed it out and it's not the most healthy. So I'm gonna try to figure out how I can try to save this battery right here. Um, it's definitely down on voltage. Um, I'm assuming that it's because of, I mean, it's just the obvious for now, me looking at it is they had the isolation switch out and it was probably stored at the wrecking yard. And this is all kind of screwed up and in bad condition. So I don't know, there's some of my battery poles. This one's not so bad, but on the other side, they're all corroded. So I don't know, um, I, I'm probably just gonna keep this stuff and I'm just gonna try to save it. I mean, this car only had 8,000 miles on it. So hopefully uh, the batteries are good. They just need to be kind of charged up. I'm assuming that they've been sitting out for years probably. This is a 2018 VIN, so I mean, maybe it crashed pretty quick and then it's been sitting for a couple years. All right, so next step is I'm gonna try to disassemble some of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna be super careful. I'm gonna wear high voltage gloves so I don't um, shock the shit out of myself. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to record another video. <laughs> Um, let's just uh, hope for the best and I'm honestly not really too familiar with this stuff um, Even though it sounds like probably that you guys are like damn that guy really knows what he's talking about I uh, kind of do and I kind of don't so I'm just gonna be super super careful and um, Get this battery torn apart the best I can and just kind of get the batteries on some carts and like really just set aside and Prepared because I need to be able to mock them into an s2000 So you guys can see some of the electronics in the back of this module right here. Here's the water lines right here. So they have little quick disconnect fittings on them. And then if you go down the line, the water cools all through here and it actually goes in through every single cell. And then it goes on to the next one and it continues all the way down jumps over to the center pack there and cools every single cell on this entire pack. All right, so I have these positive and negative cables taped up and then now I'm just going to remove all this hardware, little M6 hardware all along the battery and I'm gonna try to get this first pack off the tray. All right, so the first mini goal for today was actually achieved. I got the first pack off of the crates. So let me show you guys that real quick. So here's where the first battery was located on the tray. And there's the pack right there on the dolly. And as you can see, it's uh, chilling. It is heavy, but it's very easy to move on these little little Harbor Freight carts. And then we have the rubble so far. So these are all the battery cables, the um, fuse box we can call it, and then the brackets. So to hold this battery, there's like two of these on the sides, holding it down on each side. And then this one's like on the front holding it down. So uh, just gotta do the rest and try to get these on the little carts and then that's pretty much what we're going to try to get to today. All right guys, so here is the factory BMS wiring harness and BMS unit. BMS is right here. All the orange cable normally stands for high voltage, but I guess they're just showing you that uh, this is a low voltage but um, is connected to a high voltage, so they're just doing it orange. 
just for that reason. And then here's our battery packs. So we got a bunch of blue tape on all of our power and grounds just to uh, make sure we don't bump anything when we're storing these batteries. And they're pretty much ready to pop off of this girdle. So I'm just gonna try to get all these separated out and um, ready for storage. And here's our empty tray with two of the batteries right there, two more in another spot, and then the case. So basically, if I'm not gonna use any of these parts, I got a lot of trash with this. Um, if you guys could see here, again, the harness with all the straps and tie downs and then the relay center. So um, it's gonna be a fun one.